One of the questions we wrestled with, Dr. Kurtz and I, was when does recovery become durable? When does sobriety today predict sobriety for a lifetime? When does my risk of resuming alcohol and drug use and having a reoccurrence of a substance use disorder plummet? And in fact, the benchmark we used was a benchmark that's been used for other medical disorders, which was at what, how long do you have to be in stable recovery before your lifetime risk of ever experiencing a reoccurrence drops below 15%. And what we found with that is for alcohol dependence, study after study after study consistently came in between four and five years. With opiate dependence, it's actually a bit longer. We know that with opiate dependence, people who make five years in stable recovery from opioid dependence, 20 to 25% of them will still experience a recurrence of opiate dependence later in their lifetime. But let's think about that for a minute in terms of its implications. If five years is the benchmark, which is interesting because it's the same benchmark for a number of other disorders that some of you have experienced in this room. If we're treated for most cancers in the United States, what do they tell us about five years? It's the same data, right? So, so what they do in that five years with us is what? Think of the, think of the, the assertiveness, aggressiveness with which we do post treatment monitoring and early reintervention with people with cancer. And in contrast, what we do with this acute care model of addiction treatment is we hold graduation ceremonies, for God's sakes, and hand people chips and hug them and tell them to have a great life and sever the service relationship. In spite of the fact we continue to use rhetoric that addiction is a chronic disorder, if we actually believe that, According to the scientific data, every addiction treatment program in the country dealing with people with high problem severity and complexity at a minimum would be following people routinely for five years. Even the most highly stabilized patients at a minimum would be getting at least an annual recovery checkup for five years. 